Norfolk's Commonwealth's attorney can continue to not prosecute misdemeanor marijuana cases, but the Virginia Supreme Court is now stepping in, saying he cannot block judges from hearing those cases. That means you'll still face the consequences if you're charged with simple pot possession in Norfolk. 13 News Now investigative reporter Evan Watson is breaking down what this means for cases moving forward. Misdemeanor pot cases will now move forward in the court system, but Commonwealth's attorney prosecutors will not be involved. It's a blow to what some hoped would essentially decriminalize marijuana possession in Norfolk. Starting this year, Norfolk Commonwealth's attorney Greg Underwood decided his office would stop prosecuting appealed marijuana possession cases. Underwood can choose how to allocate his resources. But circuit court judges aren't on board. They say the policy interferes with current law, and they denied prosecutors' efforts to dismiss the cases. The Virginia Supreme Court sided with the judge's view on correct criminal procedure. The decision means marijuana possession cases will be tried in Norfolk, just not by prosecutors. They'll simply involve the defendant and defense attorney, law enforcement officer, and judge. This instance where the court has ruled as it has, I think it's doing more harm than good. Activist Bob Stevens says full decriminalization of marijuana is now the only solution. He says it's a social justice issue. The fact that African Americans and people of color, black and brown people, are disproportionately arrested at a higher rate than any other group of people, even though the use of marijuana is the same. Stevens says the court's decision shows the need to change marijuana laws. Speaks to the need to change the narrative, not just shift the narrative, but we need to get the whole community involved. In Norfolk, Evan Watson, 13 News Now.